This is my lovely 1985 4.2 litre Jaguar XJ6. I bought it, collecting it on the 1st of April 2023 from Lincolnshire with just 28,400 miles on the clock. The car had been sold by Dutton Forshaw North West in Preston to a Mr R Gaunt on the 27th of March 1985 with the personal registration of REG8. In June 1990 it was sold to a Mr Etherington in Cumbria with the registration number it now carries B224DBV and its MOT on the 23rd of March 1990 indicates that it had covered 21,600 miles. It was laid up before it was due its next MOT and remained in store until the early 2020s with the next MOT carried out on the 12th of May 2022 at 28,146 miles. I bought it from a Mr Sadler with a new MOT at 28,394 miles. The drive home from Lincolnshire was a treat and well worth paying for. I have been advised that it is traditional to ensure that all our videos have some cyclists in them, so here am I. When your classic car cover is coming up for renewal, try our club scheme arranged with Peter James Insurance. It offers great rates and a range of exclusive benefits including free salvage retention and multi-vehicle options. Just click the link in the description below to get a quote. Let's have a look under the bonnet at the 4.2 litre engine. Sadly this had suffered from its long layup and number three cylinder had bits of piston up its side. The engine compartment looked good before the engine failure, but looks even better after the total rebuild. Oh, more cyclists. I've always wanted a Leaper on the bonnet and other Jaguars that have been or are in my stable didn't have them. One of my few dreams that has come true. Well, we've seen the comfort that Pat asked for and I can assure you there is an effective heater, although the aircon is yet to be recommissioned after the engine was removed. And here is the other requirement, the ample boot space. Sorry to interrupt the video, but if you're enjoying it, we need your help.
All we're asking is for you to take just a second to hit the subscribe button, and also do the same with the like button. Thank you, we do appreciate your support. Now, back to the video. One of the first things that Pat noticed about the car was that it had two petrol filler caps, and she guessed correctly that there are two tanks each holding 10 gallons when full. There is a changeover switch on the dashboard. Press it and fuel is instantaneously delivered from the other tank. We had not named the car, which is Regent Grey, when group friend Phil Allen suggested that as it was grey it should be called Earl. Naming it after Earl Grey tea seems appropriate, as when on tour it often has some cakes in the boot. In spite of its size, the car does not feel large, and even when negotiating narrow roads like these around Castle Coombe, it is easy to miss obstacles like buildings, moving people and horses, although I do come to a halt when there are horses close by so as not to spook them. Here Earl follows a much younger sibling through the village. Oh, and some more cyclists. We are giving value for money this video. Rascal, our group bear, loves riding in Earl, although if left on this shelf, he often falls off. <coughs> Earl can often be seen on our tours sporting a GoPro filming our good friends driving around the country. The tours are great fun, and the tourists have become great mates. Do come and join us.